there's some big things I don't feel very happy about. I don't feel happy that BC Lottery Corporation is the biggest purchaser of advertising in British Columbia. I don't feel happy that the BC Place Stadium, which to me looks like a broken umbrella stuck upside down in a garbage can, is the world's most expensive stadium renovation. I don't feel happy that as the, when I was working for an arts organization, that we had to work in casinos uh, to take money because we were required to. Because the provincial government made it very clear to us that if we didn't take that money or try to get that money by being involved in gambling and sitting in those goddamn uh, smoky places till four o'clock in the morning, that it showed we were not interested and we'd be cut off from our regular operating funding. And I saw teenagers there of about dropping a thousand dollars a night the three or four years I was there. Every year I'd see the same guys out there. We also saw several thousand dollar bills a night. We knew damn well that was filthy money and we were just taking it to launder it. And what we've got to do is stop mainlining it. We've got a government that's addicted to gambling and we've got a non-profit sector that's addicted to gambling. And what we've got to demand, I think, of the provincial government is that we stop all funding from gambling revenues. This comes out of general revenue and we regulate gambling the same way we re regulate liquor and prostitution and all those things. They have to be regulated again. They have a place in our society. We have to have some use for them. There has to be some place that they're regulated. But the money that goes for things which are valuable, like the nonprofit sector and the arts, should come from regular revenues, and that's what we need to fight for.